this is the app that I created for Shastra also science project just called plantifier so plantifier is mainly for the farmers like for the farmers use their hand to check for the diseases which is not a sufficient way so in order to prevent these we had created an app that is fit in three categories that is plant detection plant disease detection IVR based plant detection so when you click on the plant detection we can identify what type of plant it is like we have pomegranate then mango, lemon, blackberry, guava, chinar, basil leaf, estuarinus chloris. So I have a plant over here that is of chinar plant. So if I just predict, click on the predict button over here, we can predict what type of plant it is. So we can see that the percentage value, we can get the result in percentage value that is of chinar plant. So we can 89 percentage as chinar plant that is the percentage value. So the other type what we have done is for the plant disease detection. So when we click on the plant disease detection, what we are getting is in two categories. That is crop disease detection and plant leaf disease detection. So when you click on the crop disease detection, when we just upload the photo of a crop, we can get what type of uh, crop it is or what is the disease the crop is having. Also the other feature in this is that when you click over here, when you click on the view button, we can also get the view. That means we can also get the report. So we have rice bacterial blight, the report and how to manage it and where does the disease also occur. IVR based, so IVR based what we have given is that through the voice chatbot, we can detect what type of the disease the plant is having. So if we click on the farmer, we you give a name as a farmer. Hello farmer, welcome to plant a fire and please let us know the type of plant infected. So it's asking what type of the plant it is infected. So if I say rice. What is your concern about the plant? So the chatbot asks us what is the concern about the plant brown spot the plant is having brown spot disease to prevent the growth of disease please use fungicides such as propiconazole and azoxystrobin so it says to use the you know, how to manage the plant and what are the precautions for the uh, like what are the precautions so that is the IVR base so we had collected the data from a site called Kaggle and we also used teachable machine to train the data this is teachable machine. In teachable machine, we have divided all the categories. That is, potato early blight disease. That we have thousand images. So we have training the thousand images. And then we have potato healthy plant. That is, we have one fifty two images. So these are the type of diseases we have created for the plant. That is, like for tomato, we have early blight. That we have thousand images. For the mosaic virus, we have three seventy three images. And that is also for the tomato. So this is a tomato healthy plant. That we have one thousand five hundred ninety one. So we have trained the type of diseases of tomato and potato. So how to train is that we have to click on the train. So within 5 to 10 minutes we can get the trained model. So now the model has been trained. So I have uh, this is the preview of the model. So when you click on the export we can get a link. So to get this link what we have to do is that we have to click on the upload my model. So within a few seconds we can get the upload version of the model. So now we can see this is the link for the model. So we had created it in MIT App Inventor. So this MIT App Inventor, what we have done is that we have added the extension called Teachable Machine Extension. So this is the extension that is Teachable Machine Extension. So what we have done is that by copy pasting the link that we got from here, the link that we copy pasted from the Teachable Machine, we get a Google uh, Google type link. So what we do is that we copy paste it in this extension. Then we select the web viewers to get the result. So the data set was collected from the other type that is from the Kaggle. So that uh, so Kaggle has all the type of different data sets. So we use the data set from the Kaggle and it was trained in the teachable machine.